Black Trunks, his official weight, 57.1 kilograms. Holding a record of 23 fights, 21 victories, 10 of those by knockout against only one defeat and one draw. He comes to us from Kroger, United Kingdom, and he's the reigning British featherweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Aaron Ryan Walsh. And introducing his opponent in the blue corner, wearing black and red, his official weight, 56.9 kilograms. Holding a fine professional record of 17 wins and one bout even, including eight big wins coming by way of knockout. He's a former Olympic boxer fighting out of Aarhus, Denmark. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dennis the Menace Trailhan. So the pleasantry is over. The Spanish referee having a final check in the corners. And the fighters drawn together, and you'll see Ceylon very much the taller fighter. Most <laughs> jigging around, certainly looks ready. Won that vacant British title last September, Ryan, then a couple of defences since then. The chance, as his brother Liam said last week, a chance to really make a statement. European featherweight title, the vacant title, now up for grabs. Ryan Walsh from Cromer in Norfolk in the in the black shorts. Well, the good thing for Ryan Walsh is always used to give away height, he's always used to give away reach. So this is nothing new for him. What he needs to be, he is sharp and he can be quite elusive with head movement. He just switches off now and again, he can't make those mistakes at this level. If he doesn't, if he keeps switched on at all times, as I've been saying all week, I really fancy him for the win. But it's not going to be easy. Nice little left hook there to start off for, for Walsh. Well, the bookies make him the favourite. He says he's the sensible one of the three brothers. <laughs> very, very close. Ryan and Liam and older brother Michael. Inches away with that right uppercut there with Walsh. Ceylon never beaten, was a good amateur, fought in the Olympics in 2012. Lost to John, John Joe Nevin in the first round there. Nevin went on to take silver in that division behind Luke Campbell. Also fought in three European championships, so bags of schooling. Well, he's a good boxer. You know, I've, watched, I've been watching him, he does nothing great, so, you know, you can put your finger on anything, but he's, he's quite good. He moves quite well. He's being aggressive and he can move on the on the back foot when he has to. But I don't think there's anything that Walsh hasn't seen before. A nice little assault there from Walsh. Yeah, body shot. And a good right, right hand. hand. He's hurt him. And he's go. Oh, he almost went down there. It was the right hand that started to unravel him. Referee needs to get out the way. Desperately trying to hold on. He's all over the place, Barry. He really is, and Walsh has sensed that now. Big run. Oh, oh, good shot. Beautiful uppercut. He's touched down, and that's going to be given the count. Fabulous right hand uppercut from Ryan Walsh, and he has made the dream start. Unbelievable. I thought it was going to be a big right hand over the top. It was a beautiful shot there. Turned out that right hand into an uppercut there from Ryan Walsh. Now, he, this is where experience tells right over the top. Is he going to be able to find one more solid shot in this opening round? Little graze over his left eye, Ryan Walsh. And he switched south wall as well there as well. we forget that he's the switch hitter like his brother also. Oh, he's caught right by hand. right hand yeah. from Ceylon. Oh. And just staggered back momentarily. We oh, saw uh, <laughs> Joe <laughs> Murray in a dramatic opening round earlier on in the way to his victory. And similarly here, but this is a great start from Ryan Walsh. Really has been switched on from the first bell, hasn't he, Walsh? No silly risks. It's a cut now over the left eye for Walsh. Well, that's going to be something for them to work on in the corner. That must be the clash of heads, I don't think. 
Well, I don't. I can't think that. I can't, I'm trying to think yeah, of a punch left that's done it. The left hook from Walsh there hurts Sealand. Great opening round from and Brian Walsh. The Sealand goes to his, back to his corner, really wobbly, and that's a, a ten-eight round there for Walsh. Frank Holm, who I was telling you, has been with Dennis Sealand since he was 11 years old. Now, 16 years later, the biggest fight of his life, and a bit of a nightmare opener. Let's watch again. Oh, right on the top of the head. The setting up there was, was Ryan Walsh. He, he closes the distance quite well. You could he short the guy, you think he's never gonna you're always safe and you, you never are with him. They missed the they missed the right uppercut there of Walsh, they didn't show the down the replay, but that was it. See and just caught Walsh and up with square. We seen that from a different angle and Walsh wasn't really that hurt, just hit off balance, which was uh Before you guys start haranguing us on social media, this is not box nation pictures we are at the mercy of another director we'd have shown you the knockdown trust me and a lovely right uppercut it was as well which would have been celebrated from ryan walsh who's 10-8 up after that opening round well only about 30 seconds before he missed by inches with a right uppercut was it's obviously something that he's been working on cut though in the opening round and i wonder if that's going to be a factor yeah, and I think you've got to be patient, but he's still got to be that aggressive, positive fighter that he is and not give, like he's doing now, Sealand too much time and space to get into the fight. Sealand's really on the front foot and trying to establish himself now, trying to get himself right back into this fight. Can't afford to allow Walsh to get into a rhythm and start to pick up the rounds on the back of that knockdown. Well, Ross needs to be sharp at all times. You see how effective he is when he is sharp. Just switch every now and again. He switches off for no reason at all. Well, he's, he, he never, never gets seriously hurt. But he just clips the silly shots that he knows he should never get caught with. One loss on his record was back in 2013 against Lee Selby on points. There's no shame in that at all. Selby now the IBF World Champion. And he switched to Southpaw Walsh. Former appear to have done a reasonable job with that damaged eye. Good jab there from the Southpaw. Stands well from Walsh. See that's been busier though in this round so far. Let's look at the right hand there from Ceylon. A few supporters have made their way across from Norfolk and made, making their presence noisily felt. Good shot from Ceylon. Right hand. He's back into it in this round, Barry. Yeah, he's just been a bit busier than Walsh. Walsh looking for that big shot again. Knows he can hurt him. Rudy Markerson was the last Danish European champion. Oh, that's good there from Ceylon there. Nice little combination. As I said earlier, he's looking to become the first European featherweight champion for Denmark since 1929. Good round, this. Yeah, Walsh, I think Walsh was hurt with the right hand a couple of, couple of seconds ago as well. Using his reach to good effect, Ceylon. Well, give, give credit to Ceylon here. He's, he's, he's dogged it out a little bit more strong. Well, he could have you know, went into his shell after that horrible first round he had, but he's uh, he's dogged out, really made an effort to try to go out and win this round. And he might have just done it as well. well maybe he's obviously under pressure, home favourite, wanting to impress, wanting to put on a show. And he's got himself back into the fight, and I now reckoning he's won that second round. I think so, I just think he was the busier. But while showed a few a few warnings, so I was hit with the right hand about 30 seconds to go, and I think he hurt Sealand just a little bit. problem with that injury around the left eye at the moment a bit of bruising underneath lovely jab there when he switched off for Walsh I think he's better than orthodox you're not a fan of switch hitting are you I'm not but you know but I, I said I'm not a fan but oh good did Liam Walsh use it the other night and and Ryan in the past has used it you know used it superbly so it obviously works for some fighters I just think it's a risk Seconds out, round three. Knockdown for Walsh in the first round. 
Selan biting on his gum shield, gutsing it out, upping his work rate in the second, and probably narrowing the gap as we move into round three of this European featherweight title fight. For me, Ryan Wasco, forget that, he, that he's hurt him, that he knows he can hurt him. Just go out and win that round, like you did in the first round. You went out that first round, looking to pick your shots to win the round, and then you hurt him. You're guilty of looking for the big shot a wee bit too much when he fought for the British title, wasn't he, last year? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. His, what was it, Samir um, Muniemni? Yeah. And he hurt him, and he was maybe just looking for that big shot a wee bit too much after that. But when he's shot, when he's on point, was he, like, like he was in the first round, he still is in this fight, he, you know, he's, he's good. Gonna need to be tonight, though, the signs are that this fellow's gonna take some shifting. I still think, for me, I, already I, at this stage, what I, what I can see so far, I still think it's Ryan Walsh's fight to lose. I do. I think Sealand, I think he can set Sealand to walk onto something. But Sealand is, is, is trying, still trying to chase the fight. Good right hand there from Walsh. Solid body shot showed the power again. This is signs, I think, that Walsh is the, is the heavier puncher. There's nothing, yeah. nothing between them, is there, in statistics on previous contests, but. Just watching them face to face, Walsh looks as though he has a little bit more of a dig. Good shot. And again, uh, Quick right Walsh. hand again, wasn't it? Just need to follow up with something after, that's all. Just so Sealan can counter him. Good response there, though. From Sealand again, lovely right hand there from Sealand. Lovely straight punches and the crowd responding. Pressure for Walsh here tonight. He says that he'll respond to it. Champs are going up for the home fighter. And there's been some, and there's some slightly worried faces in that Walsh corner. Good jab there from Walsh and a body shot as well. It's better when he's coming forward. I know Sealand likes to, you know, he's trying to come to him, but there's nothing on the punches then. It's better from Walsh. You see there, they're a little just switched off for a little second in the pocket. Well, it's another close round, but Sealand maybe has had landed the more telling punches, more of them. More of them, I think, I think the, the, the weight of the shots, for me, have, have been for Walsh, so I, I just edged Walsh, I think, John, for that. I think Sealand was busier, but I think Walsh more quality in his work, maybe. Tight round. And then they're the sort of rounds that Walsh being away from home doesn't want them sort of rounds. And see that doing his work in the middle of the ring as well. And that's that's the way. That's the way it's happening. I think any close round could have gone the other way. It's going to go. Barry, it's going to go the other way. Yeah. In which case, in which case you've got a level fight. Yeah. But for me, I just favour Walsh. I think he's a bit more aggressive. And I think some of the heavier shots in the early part of the round were from him. Working on the, on the cut and as ever, brothers making their presence known as well. It was Liam there giving the words in the ring. Was it 39 minutes between them? That's <laughs> unbelievable, isn't it? Well, Michael in Liam's corner, Mike, the, the older brother in Liam's corner um, last weekend was brilliant. Because Liam wanted to really go for the stoppage, and he might he probably would have got it, you know. And his brother holding him back saying, listen, he's... This is a limited yet for the world title, don't take any risks, you've won. Altogether different set of circumstances here at the moment. Ceylon right back into this fight. Oh, great shot again. Right I, hand of the referee says well, no knockdown. Even if their feet got tangled, if he caught him with a punch, you've got to give the knockdown. Well, it was a right hand that did it. It's going to be interesting to see a replay of that, if indeed we do see a replay of this particular knockdown. I think his feet were together, and he might have got tangled up, and, and, and so that's maybe why he went down, but the fact that he caught him with a punch, 
is either near or there. If you follow with a shot, whether it's hard or soft, it's got to be a knockdown. Well, it's not given, and so the fight's the round very much up for grabs. Good jab there, though, from Walsh. That's what he needs, that solid punch, that solid jab through the guard. Walsh will feel that he got him, though, and landed when the man was squared up. Right hand over the top, nice lead. It's good from Walsh, again. Oh, good back to Sealand over their right hand. This is more like it, Barry. And he's looking for the big shots again. That's better for Walsh. He threw that right hand, and he came back with the left hook. Oh, don't, don't, sometimes he throws single shots. You've got to throw him in twos and threes. Otherwise, Sealand's going to count him every time he, he throws a punch. So often the supposition that visiting fighters have to win big on home territory. I don't think that's quite as true as it as it once was. No, but the crowd have an influence, don't they? Every time the, the, well, the home fighter yeah. throws a punch, you know, so you, you can be conned in many ways. Even if you're an honest, in a close round, you're going to favour you know, the home fighter almost naturally, I guess. telling the uh, Walsh corner to keep their instructions a little quieter. A couple of good solid jabs. Wouldn't mind betting that it's uh, the vociferous Michael Walsh who's making his presence heard. <laughs> See that coming in with the shoulder then. Again, for me, so far in this round, I think Walsh's work has been better. Sealand's been trying to come forward, but it's been scrappy work, and, and, and nothing much has landed here. Nothing much has landed. That's still a round for me for Ryan Walsh. And arguably should have been a 10-8 round, as it is 10-9. But literally, John, every close round, you've got to be thinking, it's gone, it's gone away from you, it's gone to the other court, it's gone to the home ground, so you've just got to fight like you're, you've got to fight like you're behind them. Well, he's got his foot on top of the lead foot and maybe hooked around the back. See it again now, hopefully. The feet got tackled up, for sure. That's our right hand from Seaman, a good shot. But, but the point they make, even if they think they're tangled up, if you get caught with a punch and then you, and then you hit the floor, that's technically what a knockdown is. But the judges won't be scoring it, I guess, although judges do have the... Uh, do have the... They are empowered to not necessarily give it as the referee gives it. I'm kind of not sure if, know, if we see it again and again and again and again forever, but if they think got that tangled up where they just square his feet up, and they, you know, that's all, I think. So we're into the fifth round, whatever. Barry's got Walsh ahead, and significantly ahead. But some of those rounds have been close. A couple of them could well have gone the other way. Good right hand there from Sealand. Again, this thing is the difference between Sealand and Walsh. Sealand throws the punches in combination. So you throw two, three, and you think that's it, and another right hand pops over the top. And that's where Walsh just can't switch off at all. Always got to be in. Sharp, focused. Sanan doing well from range. Sanan's last win was against Walter Estrada. Remember him? <laughs> Fought Scott Harrison about. Yeah, donkeys years ago, wasn't it? And then he's blown away by Kevin Mitchell. It's crazy, isn't it? Still going, see? Must be older than you. He's probably not as old as you, John. Possibly not. <laughs> Again, these short of rounds make me nervous because there's the clock's ticking away and no one's really you know, taking a stranglehold of rounds. And that's always that's always going to be a worry for the away fighter. Oh, 
Mishy knows that I mean anything at the moment. Even then, that, that's blocked. Bit of a standoff, this one. Yeah. Not Ceylon got the better of the first minute. There's not been a lot since. It's a good jab. Well, could he go the longer reach and he throws in punch it in combinations? It, when Walsh is more singles, then with the work in the centre of the ring, Sealand's going to re remember more for that. And so Walsh got to really, what well, you got to bully him without being you know, too gung ho, if you like. It's good from Sealand. He's losing this round, yeah. Barry. Yeah. Looking for that big punch again. I think he's a little bit guilty of that. He knows he can. He, he's hurt Sealand. He knows he's the heavier hand. I just think Scott win that round. Very quiet round this one for Walsh. And surely one that slipped yeah, away. Most definitely. the voice of Michael Walsh, not Graham Everett. Well, they'll probably think he's ahead, you know. You could, no, no, if you think the close round you're going to favour your own fighter, then they might think that he's starting to get his boxing together, no? He may be ahead on the judge's cards. Yeah, not impossible. He might be. I just think Walsh, no. He's going there and I'll be busy. Be busy in this run. I'll just change the pattern of the fight a little bit. Push this kid back. Into the sixth. Good body shot. Harry's got St. Lan a couple of points ahead on his card. Walsh a couple of points. Oh, ahead. sorry, I beg your pardon. But Walsh a couple of points ahead, but it could well be it could well be considerably yeah, closer. Yeah, I think so. He's got the close rounds there. It's just like the last round, and to start this round off is still only 30 seconds gone, but just allowing Sealand to get his boxing together. Good. It's better. Body shots followed by the right hand and another good solid body shot from Walsh. Well, what was good with that is that he threw in combinations. So Sealand couldn't respond. He had to wait till he finished the attack. Put Just him square with that right hand again there. It's a good shot, but he was off balance. He wasn't hurt there, Sealand. Swung himself off slightly embarrassingly. Swung himself off his feet. More success, Southpaw or Orthodox, Barry? I think he's been better Orthodox for me in this fight. Oh, that's right hand, just to emphasise the yeah. point. Good response there back from Sealand. Again, the crowd cheering there, but they, they, all these punches missed. Trying to coax him out of the shell, isn't he there, Walsh? <laughs> Doing everything he can. Trying to work the opening. Almost got through with the yeah. right hand. Tight round, but Walsh has had the more meaningful yeah, punches. I think so as well. But all it'll take though is a, is a, a flurry from Sealand in the centre of the ring, and, and he might nick it on the judges' scorecards. Not for me, I think. I think he's a, a big finish, Sealand, in the round. But it's much better Walsh when he pushes punches together. together. 
rather than the single shot. Well, that should be a Walsh round, I would have thought. Agreed? Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, most definitely, John. Sorry, man. He needs to keep this pressure on, though, Walsh, for me. He needs to be the first in, first out. Plenty of voices in the corner. Do you know what, it, I would criticise that normally because I just think you know it should be one voice, but it works for him. It, it, it works for him. You know, they come they're a family. I guess you know that. You know, it's kind of advice by committee, isn't it? And yeah. Graham's not the most, not always the most naturally vociferous guy, is he? I suppose he'll say, no, also, I say it when it matters. No, but also, being a trainer and being a cornerman are two different things. So, you know, he, obviously, you know he's training him, I presume. And, you know, maybe in a corner then, it's a, it's a, it's a communal thing, as it, as it seems. Well, you've got Walsh in a handy lead at the halfway stage. Yeah, I've got three points up, yeah. you know. But it could, easy, it could be the other way, who knows? But I, something's close wrong, I just think the quality of his work was a little bit better. But being the away fighter, you've got to maybe, you know, tend to think they might give it to Ceylon. Clearly a really big win and a really big opportunity, this, for Ryan Walsh. And it's good for Liam as well, because if Ryan comes through here, it's easy to see that there could be a big double header looking for bigger yeah, crowns yeah. ahead, but a long way to go before he gets to that. Yeah, nice little combination there from Ceylon. I'm sure Nisa Sauland would see it rather differently. He'd be hoping that his man comes through. Seems a long time since that knockdown, doesn't it? So if yeah. you're just joining us, Walsh had his man down in the opening round. Been busy in this round so far. Is Dennis Seelan? I still keep thinking it's, it's Walsh's fight to lose all the time. I just think even even if he wasn't ahead, he did. Well, it's been one of those foot off the gas sort of rounds again so yeah, far. This I, one. I think so. He, he, I know why. Because he's you know he's trying to set him up for something. He wants to hit him with a big shot, and again, some, like, that's one of those things when you hurt somebody, sometimes you can, you know, be intent, I know I can hurt him, I can set him for a big punch, and then you forget about, actually, you can ease your boxers, kid. And, and see, that's a, you know, a good boxer, so it's not going to be easy, but Walsh has proved in the first one, how quick and sharp he was to our boxing, and I'll see that I'm just not working him again. Not a lot from Walsh in this round so far, could do with a good last 30 seconds. Swinging left hand was blocked by Sealand there. And another one landed on the arms. Nice little right hand there from Sealand. Short right hand. I've been close. That's what Walsh got to do there. What he's doing now. Put that ring off. Put him on the ropes. Put his back to the ropes. Oh, good shot from Sealand. Nice right hand. And Walsh knew it. And another one. Best round for some time for the Dane. Yeah, great finish of the round there for, for Sealand and, and a clear round for him. Needed that. And that has really raised his spirits. But psychologically, that's huge, isn't it? Because he had a, he had, no, that, that sixth round was, wasn't a great round for him at all. Well, it's pretty dominant. We come back really solid positive like he did in the second round to be yeah honest. I was gonna say I mean he presumably got given the right act after the first yeah. round but he came out and had a really good second yeah. and he's come out and done the same again but th there's a little time there where Walsh just before see that come back at the end of the round with a lovely combination and Walsh put him against the ropes followed though cut the ring off made him run around and I think that's what Walsh needs to do And it's what Liam said there, he's panicking. 
No, I, I don't think he is as much, but I think when Ryan puts him under pressure, he's panicking, and then he's punching out the necessity. Rather than when he wants to, he has to, you know, you're forcing the throw punches, which means they're not as sharp or as crisp, and the time is not the same as when you're thinking about what you're doing. Well, it certainly could be tight. Your gut feeling when you watch the fight is that there's not an awful lot between them, and that first round knockout, knockdown, could be so important in the final reckoning. Here comes the big attack from Sealand. Like there, no. Didn't land anything too clean, did he? It didn't, though, but that will give the impression, though, that he's having a better run because whilst I'm with a lovely right hand, one single punch, and then didn't do anything, just stayed there. You know, he dipped the shoulder, but then he didn't move his feet, so then. Sealand comes back with a flurry of attack of punches and, and Walsh has to try and evade most of them but he gets caught with a couple. And the crowd respond which kind of accentuates yeah. it, doesn't of course, it? Yeah, but Sealand did have success in that combination. Walsh needs to get back in here, needs a, a good round now to actually, a while since that sixth, he's sort of disappearing in the memory and Sealand has been in the ascendant since. As they keep edging him back. Walsh very much the shorter man, and he's kind of making himself smaller, isn't he? Yeah, which is a good idea, because yeah. punching down, you, you lose a little bit of accuracy there. Good body shot there from Walsh. Single shot, though, and Sealand looking busy. Oh, that's a nice jab there from Walsh. There, it's, it's these little things. I see he switches off, he tries to evade punches, but he walks back to straight lines. I think, you see that cut there at the right time? Well, he's dabbing at it, slightly anxiously. Have a look in a moment. Walsh will have seen it instantaneously if it is. Couldn't see if it was a punch. I'm not sure it is or not, Murray. No. This really wants him. Push him back. But he's not found the shots to accentuate. Sort of underline what he'd done there. A couple of clubbing hooks in the closing seconds of the round. But then a nice solid right hand from Sealand, who on the cards has probably taken that one again. Yeah, I think so. It was close around. I think Walsh finished strong. But again, it's just, it's just the work rate. And even though they, there's not the same weight on Sealand's punch as there, Alan Walsh is. We tend to think the judges will go with Sealand again on that round. See, most of it's not landing, but a couple are, and whether they're glancing blows or not, they're, they're still going to be counted as scoring punches, and I guess when you think overall on that round, you, you sort of think that Sealand was the busier, and you give them that round. Well, it's finished strong. This is the last few seconds, wasn't it? Got to push him back. This is your round, yeah. Round nine. Needs one. He could do with taking the bulk of what remains. Ryan Walsh. Remember, he's fighting on the other guy's territory. Into the ninth, 12 rounder for the vacant European featherweight crown. Ceylon down in the opener. But Walsh has not dominated as much maybe as he would have anticipated after that early success. from either man in the first 45 seconds of this. Oh. 
Ryan and Liam so close, but when you watch Ryan fight, you sometimes think that he hasn't got quite the innate nastiness of Liam, and I mean that in the nicest sense. Yeah, I, I sort of understand what you're saying. I don't know what that word means, but I understand. Well, you know, what you're born <laughs> I, I know with, the fighting, the I know, fighting... I know, I know what you're you know, saying, the, yeah, yeah, the, the natural... Yeah, the fighting the, ruthlessness, yeah. if you like. Yeah. Is that fair? I think it might be. He'd probably beg to differ. <laughs> and it won't, be, won't be slow to take it up with me next time. Oh, good right hand from C -Lan. I was just going to say, just a second ago, whilst I'm with a good right hand, but then Sealand responded with his own. And another one. Sealand, yeah. is he just starting to get on top a little at this stage? Walsh <laughs> needs something just to take him out of his stride. But Walsh is starting to push him back, just needs to be a little bit busier with his hands, that's all. Plenty of support from the Danish crowd. They think their man is ahead now. It's a big finish now, Ryan Walsh. Done all the stalking, done it, no, made, made see them work with his feet and pushed him around the ring, but now with some decent shots, but I'm let his hands go enough, maybe, again. He's getting a bit frustrated now, Ryan Walsh. Here is brother shouting Michael in the corner. He knows that it's at a key stage now. He knows that Ryan needs something big here to turn the tide, which is starting to flow against him. Again, it's one of those wrongs, isn't it? But it literally, he's had, a, he's had to split them. Maybe you can split them because, because no, no, no really down of any note, but see that is the busier. And in the close round, they get been away from home. You've got to give it to the, to the Dane, I guess. Walsh did a lot of good work with his feet. You know, he, he was pushing Sealand back for most of the round, but just wasn't wasn't busy enough. That's all. Just throwing up punches, and then Sealand comes back with his, the longer punches with the attacks, and maybe just just nicks the round out, out of his grasp. I reckon you've got it level here, Barry, haven't you, with the two-point opener? Yeah, I have no doubt. Yeah, it's pulled back the last three rounds as we'll see now. So we've got a three-round fight from here. For me, if Walsh is busy, you can win this fight. I, I, I really think you can. If you don't try and load up and just go out there to be just to be busy and push this guy back, I think it's his fight to win. That's a nice open. It's one-two to start the round. You can't throw single shots with Sealand. I mean, he proved that all throughout the fight. You throw single the single shot. He throws four back. They might have the same power or. or quality in, in that single shot that Ryan's thrown but they take they take the play away from him good shot oh lovely left hook as well there from Walsh and typical response there from Sealem yeah every time he gets tagged he digs in and responds which he is doing again We're anticipating Sealand to be very much a come-forward fighter. He's shown that he's just a little bit more than that. He's not totally predictable, is he? No, well, he, he, I think he, I've seen bits of him when he, he boxed quite well, but there was nothing nothing that stood up with him. So I thought that, and the quality of performance he boxed, I thought that Ryan would literally walk through him. Not been the case. No, not at all. And what Ryan Walsh doesn't want is to be coming away from here thinking... He's left it in the gym. He's got stuff which he should have shown and hasn't really done so. Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, so far in this one, all the qualities come from from Ryan Walsh. See that being busy, but he's hitting gloves and, and missing, to be honest. But Walsh is can't. No, Walsh is still going to be busier for me. Got a great. You got to. You can. You can nick close runs. You got to be. Got to take him right under this guy's grasp. Little flurries like that catch the eye, again from Sealand. 
Now this is where he's got to really let his punches go, Walsh. Into the last minute of this round. Badly needs to take this one. If the judge have got the same as us and given the last three to Sealand, some of those earlier ones were close. Walsh needs to have something good now. I think when he's an orthodox fighter, Ryan Walsh, he's a busier fighter than Whitney. I think when he's southpaw, he looks for the one big shot. Good jab there from Sealand. Walsh's face marking up more and more. Nose reddened and bruising around the eyes. Good left hook as well there from Sealand. This is another wrong where he might. I was, I was thinking it might be a, a Walsh wrong and Sealand might have just nicked it off him again, you know? Well, he's catching the eye in the closing stages of the round, isn't it? It's what the seasoned pros always do. Sealand less experienced than Walsh, but he's shown a lot of experience here. Had his good spell in that round and then kept out of trouble in the last 10 15 seconds i think he stole it off and i really think he stole it off Walsh there Walsh started better just again just didn't do enough work and he can do it it's in it's in him to do it this fight could be sliding away barry's got it by the one round i had a couple of rounds which what was it rounds three and four which you gave to Walsh and I reckon they could easily have gone to Sealand, so if that's the case, then it'd be wider on my card. Again, that's the difference between one guy throwing four punches and one guy throwing one shot. Seconds out, round 11. Two rounds to go. I wonder if Walsh now needs to stop his man, quite possibly. But he needs to be busier and just you know and just go and just forget about trying to stop the fence, just work hard in every round. And if it, if the stoppage comes, it comes. That's a good right hand. Well, he's obviously coming out here intent on more of a gamble, trying to put pressure on from the outset. Bellowing at him to throw his right hand. Ceylon undefeated. Well, he's been better than what I thought. See, that he really has. Well, this is this is his biggest test by by far. And he's uh, risen to it. Yeah, hasn't no, he? he really has. Yeah. Everything, everything, really, from that first round when he went down, absolutely stacked against him. And Walsh is fighting like a man who needs he know who knows that he needs to get his man out of there. Really looking to land solid shots in this round. But he's got to be busier. It's not like loading up for the big shot. He's got to let his hands go now. Good burst. A nice little right hook there from Walsh. That's around this from Walsh. Round which kind of begs the question why hasn't he done more of this? Take his foot off the gas now, either. We've seen that happen in a few rounds, but he started quite well, taking his foot off the gas, and Sealand's literally just up the pace just a little bit and just nicked the round off him with, with the busier hands. Sealand's not done a lot yet in this round. Nice body shot there, but Walsh getting the better of the exchange. Showing impressive oh, yeah, mobility, that's yeah, a sweet right yeah, hand. Yeah. And again, Walsh just he loads him to work, doesn't he? That's the problem. I think this is slipping away, Barry. Nice well, left hook as well there from Sealand. As Walsh just went to switch. Good shot. And again. Walsh squared up, no great power in the shot, but it landed flush. And Walsh, for all his work on the front foot, 
He may not have done enough to have impressed the judges. No, I don't think so, Jonathan. He's, uh, he's a huge finish now. Ryan Walsh. Walsh was the odds-on favourite to win this fight. And what an effort it's been from Dennis Seelan. If he has indeed, as we suspect, turned it around. Great second half of the fight he's had. It had you know, when I thought it would do, that would be all Ryan Walsh, to be honest. I think I think Walsh just didn't put enough pressure on him to start off. You know, I, think he was look, I think that knockdown done Walsh more harm than good, you know. Because he was looking for looking the, the for big the, shot. Yeah, looking for the big shot all the time. Where that, sh that big shot came from where Walsh was being busy and mobile and confident. He was loose, rhythmatic with that lovely uppercut. And that's been the difference. The single shot, we made me more weight in it. So the first combination from Sealand, who just you know, make sure he finishes every combination with, with a shot. Well, Walsh won the first, 10-8. He won the sixth, 10-9. Third and the fourth open to dispute, I think. You edged them to, yeah. to Walsh, but you know, a lot of the rest, maybe the Dane has done enough. Looking as though it could be a home victory now. Oh, good right sounds, yes. He needs to find it, didn't he? But single shots needs more. And it's from the orthodox stance. <laughs> nice left hand. But Sealand taking it well and what the look of a man who ain't about to be denied now, isn't he? Good, good hook again though from, from Walsh. Well, he hasn't looked hurt since that first round. That's been the difference. He's drawing off the support as well. Raising his game impressively. And looking brimful of confidence. And the footwork's been good from Sealand. He's been plenty mobile. That's just made it a little bit hard for Walsh to set him up for an attack. Good jab there from Walsh. Chopping right hand counter though from Ceylon as well. Clock ticking down. How Walsh could do with finding a way to floor his opponent. He's looking for that big shot, isn't he? No, Ryan Walsh. I don't think it's going to come. I don't think it'll come from leaping in front of the distance. I think you've got to set it up with it, with the jab. That's good from Seelan there. Uh, he's boxed well in this last yeah. round, Barry. I know he's under pressure and Walsh is on the front foot looking for the big shot, but you've got to give credit to the man who's in reverse gear and he's done pretty well taking a left hand there, though. Good there from Ryan Walsh, though. They'll just bite that gum you know, Walsh and go for it. Ryan. No, it would have been a very, very popular win within the sport if Ryan Walsh could have pulled this one off for British boxing. Oh. That's a great shot. But 10 seconds remaining, how he needs another one. Looking to find one more big bomb. And it is just not coming. Oh. Ceylon almost running away, looking for success, and now celebrates because he thinks that he's won it. Walsh has his arm raised as well, but that's his promoter and his manager in there. And Dennis Ceylon, having been down in the first round, he thinks that he's done enough to be the European champion. Walsh being chaired around the ring by brother Michael, but that is a move of optimism, I think, rather than certainty. Well, yeah, I, th I think so. I, this, I, think he's, I don't think he's done enough, John. I don't think he's done enough to win. I think he just falls short. I don't think it's as wide as, as maybe the, ju the judges might have it. I just think that's the second half of the fight. To Sealand's credit, he's come on really strong. I mean, uh, he hasn't come on strong. He's boxed, he kept his boxing together really well under a lot of pressure. He boxed smart, didn't he? He did, yeah. But I, I still got to say, I still think he was... Well, we did, I hope, I'm hoping we've got it wrong, but I just think that... 
it was Roy Walsh's fight to lose. I still think that. I still think he could have done a little bit more. And, and, and I think he knows that. He'll know that after watching, I'm pretty sure that. But there's some of the work he done. And again, like this, that, that, that knock on in the first round, then more harm than good in, in, in the outcome, because he come out really sharp. Against a good boxer, and I, I, think, you know, I, think, I think he finished that last round well as well, the Ryan Walsh. Dennis Sealand, smile on his face, certainly thinks that he's done enough. Awful wait now for Ryan Walsh. His uh, promoter over there with him, Francis Warren, representing the Queensbury promotional group. And who's got it? There you go, by a point. He gave that last round to Walsh, did <laughs> First round important, they know that. So that must have wondered whether he was going to see the first round out at one point. He did, he, he did tremendously well. He, he had a horrible first round, Walsh had a great first round, and then to come back and win the second round. You think and it been... was a good win in the yeah, second Yeah, it was, round, yeah. Right? And then Walsh came on, had a few good rounds himself. So... Well, is it going to be a wonderful week for the Walsh brothers, or is it going to be a story of victory for Liam and the reverse for Ryan? twin brother it must, these moments must be just horrible for a fighter we're in a, in a close fight when you, you, know, you think you won't be you're not sure it, it, it's it's a every second seems like an hour waiting for the master of ceremonies Tuka Kuistinen looks as though he, he looks as though he's got it doesn't he I wonder if words have been uh, has been passed up there certainly the Danish camp are looking the happier. Well, they'll be calm, they'll be calm, because those, those close rounds, in, in, in the, especially in the, in the first half of the fight, they would tend to think they're going to be given the nod. Oh, this is Warren shaking his head. As, uh, I wonder if that is indicative of the verdict going against Ryan Walsh. Referee did a pretty good job. Still, we wait. And, uh, it's the travelling, uh, the travelling crew from Norfolk who've been over and given their support. Dennis Sealan as well, with plenty of vociferous supporters. And still, we wait. And the longer we wait, the more you wonder whether it's a really close one. Yeah, you do. They, you know, they just go. And they, I think they just double check every round. They don't make sure no one's made any mistakes. Taking their time out there, and it's all I don't think it's a good thing or a bad thing. He doesn't look worried, though, does he? That's all. Yeah, there's going to be some uh, some fans who are going to be pretty gutted if it goes the other way after this uh, after this <laughs> display of <laughs> triumphalism. Shrug of the shoulders. Oh, well, here we go. I think the time is now is now with us and we're going to see who gets this european belt will it go to denmark or will it go to the united kingdom and more specifically to chroma fans don't know but you know, they would be both of them would be foolish if you have a war well, nice display of respect between the two guys afterwards Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Jose Lazaro Carrasco had it 115 to 112 for Chelan. Raiko Jajic had it 117 to 112 for Walsh. Andre Pasquier had it 115 to 112. Ladies and gentlemen, the new European featherweight champion, Donas Lomanas Traylon. Traylon gets it, and it's disappointment for Ryan Walsh. She had one judge, scored it for him by 117 to 112 which was a wide, wide judgment in Walter's favour for one of the judges. The other 
guys gave it by three point margins 115 112 so on split decision